Yo guys, how's it going? Dexec Pro with a new one. In this demonstration, I'm going to be teaching you how to run and play PlayStation 3 games on your computer using an emulator called RPC3. Before I go for it, there are a couple of things that you need to get prepped to run PS3 games on computers such as latest version of RPC3 emulator, PlayStation 3 latest system software, Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 up to 2019, a compatible dumped PS3 PKG game with its wrap file, which I'm gonna cover what the wrap file is in this video tutorial later, a computer which meets the hardware requirements, and eventually a gamepad or keyboard and mouse to play the game. You need to check the hardware requirements list that is recommended on RPC3 website for CPU, GPU, RAM, storage and OS in order to make sure that computer is able to run the emulator without any problem. Alright, let's cut to the chase. First off, we need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 up to 2019, which is one of the requirements. I put the download link in the description that you can just check and download. Actually, I already installed it, but you just simply run the setup exe file and install it. After the installation, you gotta restart the machine. I mean, it's not a big deal, guys. Open up the web browser and go to rpc3.net. Click on download. Scroll down and click on download for Windows. Before I leave this, click on compatibility and check whether the game you want to play is playable on RPC3 or not by the status next to the game name. Great. Now I leave the page. Here is the downloaded RAR file which needs to be extracted. Create a folder. Name it RPC3. Drag and drop the emulator into the folder. Open it up. Right click. Extract here. Nice. It is the executable file. Right click. Properties. Compatibility. And check run this program as an administrator. Click on apply. Then OK. I mean, you better just uh, run this with administrative privilege to avoid any possible permission issue. Double click to run it. Check. I have read the quick start guide. And don't show it again. Click on continue. Here is the new look of emulator. I'm gonna change to dark theme because I feel way comfy with this. So I go to configuration, GUI, and from user interface style sheets, I go for modern blue theme, then apply and close it. Way better. Okay, next step is downloading PS3 system software from Sony website. I put the link in description, you can check it out later. Open up the Sony website. Scroll down and click on download PS3 update and download it. Here is the file. Get back to emulator. We need to install it inside the emulator. Click on file, install firmware. Select the PS3 system software. Click on open. Then it starts to install and compile PPU modules. Wait till it's finished. Finished. Great. Let's touch a little bit of the settings and configuration. Click on pads. From the handlers drop down list, pick up your controller to play. Since I'm using PlayStation 4 DualShock, I select DualShock 4. You take your pick guys. It supports PS3 and even computer keyboard. OK, hit on save. Time to install the game. There are plenty of websites that you can download PS3 games, but keep in your mind that your game has to be with PKG extension with its wrap license file, because if you try to install only PKG file, the emulator will face an error that ain't able to run the game because it's still encrypted. The wrap file is the license of the game and will decrypt the encryption. Then the emulator is able to read the contents and load up the game to play. Based on the list of compatibility, I already downloaded Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles with its wrap file. To install the game, go to File, Install Packages Wraps, select and open the PKG game. You want to install this package? Of course I do, so I hit on Yes. Wait till the installation is finished. Successfully installed. Awesome. OK, here's the game. Let's run it without wrap file and see what I told you. Select the game and click on play. Here we go. Booting failed. 
digital content couldn't be decrypted. This is usually caused by a missing or invalid license rap file. And that's what I told you guys. Impossible to play because it's still encrypted. And time to install the rap file, giving the game the license to play. Click on OK. Go to File again. Install Packages, Wraps. Find and open up the wrap file. As you can see in the locks, it's written successfully copied the wrap file. That's nice. Let's run the game again. Click on Restart. Here we go. It's running, but we need to wait till PPU modules are compiled. I mean, don't worry guys, it's just for the first time, okay? So this is gonna be cached for later usage and you don't need to just wait for it again. Cool. Let me close and run the game again because I didn't connect my DualShock 4 to computer. So I connect PlayStation 4 controller to my computer with the USB cable but here is the tricky part guys. I just noticed when I hook up PS4 controller with USB cable to my computer, the audio is gone and the reason why is that Windows recognizes the DualShock controller as a speaker, then the system audio will be routed to controller instead of speakers and that's totally absurd. To fix it, click on speaker icon lower right corner of the screen. Click on this little expansion here to see the list of devices. Then select your computer speakers to get audio back on track. Alright, now I'm all prep. Let's run the game again. You see that guys? PPU modules are loading super fast. As you can see, I'm experiencing a little of latency. Let's get to configuration to touch some settings. Close the game first. Click on config. Let's go to GPU tab. Frame limit. Change it to 30 frames per second. Anti-aliasing. Disabled. Then change ZCULL to relaxed. And default resolution to 720 by 480. Guess it's enough of GPU. Let's go to audio tab. From Audio Out drop down list, select Open AL. Guess that's fine. Hit on Enter to save all the changes that we just made. To apply all changes, you better close the emulator and open it back again. Alrighty, let's run the game again. Welcome to the Umbrella. Looks Run. way better. As you can see, the game is fully playable. Resident Evil. I mean, every individual PS3 game on RPS3 emulator has to be set with its own configuration based on your computer hardware, specifically the GPU configuration because it has multiple parameters to be configured. So the settings could vary from computer to computer, but the important fact of the matter is that you guys always update your computer's video graphic adapter's driver in order to experience a smooth gameplay on this PlayStation 3 emulator, then enjoy the game without having a physical called PS3 console and I believe that's the end of this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a good one.